Good day there, subscribers. I am Jeremy. This is Regular Guy Tech, and we got some big news here out of Amazon we got to talk about. We got to talk about some price increases coming to Prime and why this means really bad news for all us Amazon customers out there. Amazon shareholders might mean good news for you, but Amazon customers, this does not mean good news. And I'm going to kind of share what I see coming throughout 2018. Also, we got to talk about the new Amazon headquarters. If you know, Amazon is supposed to be coming out with a new headquarters, over 50,000 jobs. Uh, cities all across the United States are trying to bid for this thing. They all wanted in their city, right? I have some news about that in uh, regards to, I believe I know who the front runner for the new headquarters is, guys. So let's check out this here. Amazon Prime is about to get more expensive for anyone with a monthly subscription. Amazon said Friday that the cost of a monthly Prime membership will go from $10.99 a month to $12.99 a month, up 18%. The cost for students will now be $6.99 a month. That's a $1 uptick there. Okay, so basically, all Prime memberships are, are getting more expensive, okay? We know Prime is just blown up. I, I, my wife and I, we are Prime customers, okay? It's awesome. You get free two-day shipping and all that kind of stuff. Well, the Amazon kind of sees the popularity of this and like, we can start increasing prices on all this. Now, I think this is a much bigger thing than just, oh, Prime's getting $2 more expensive per month, okay? I think it's so much bigger than that, okay? Which is $24 a year, okay? I think it's so much bigger than that. I think at this point, Amazon kind of sees that there's no real competition competition for them out there, right? Walmart's the closest thing to competition, but Walmart's so far behind the game that I think 2018 is gonna be a year where Amazon doesn't just increase prime prices, I think it's gonna increase prices on a lot of its own products across the board throughout this year and do a lot of things that are gonna push up profitability to start making this a very profitable company in the future. So I think this is uh, just kind of a sign for us customers that things are gonna get more expensive, but there's really no real alternative. There's nothing comparable to Amazon out out there right now. There's nothing as far as the user experience, the ease, the selection, all those type of things, the pricing. There's really nothing out there right now. So Amazon is just kind of realizing this, guys, and I think it's just going to be a year that all the stuff we buy is going to get more expensive on Amazon. Next thing we want to talk about is the new headquarters, okay? So there's a lot, of, there are a lot of cities that are bidding for this, right? Amazon just opened up a new headquarters in Seattle recently, right? It's an amazing headquarters. If you guys have seen it, it is absolutely beautiful, at least in my opinion, right? 40,000 plus employees employees are going to be working there. It was like $3.7 billion to build this place, guys. It is freaking phenomenal. So from my understanding, as far as the cities that are bidding, right, um, there's a lot of talk that Atlanta is one of the front runners, okay? There's a lot of talk that, um, you know, somewhere in California could be one of the front runners. Uh, also talk about uh, somewhere in NYC, New York City could be one of the front runners. New Jersey is a lot of talk about some of those places, right? Even Miami, I've heard a little bit. Um, I know my city, Vegas, was bidding for it. I highly doubt we'll get it. So from what I am hearing, it sounds like Austin, Texas is going to be the play here. And this makes sense, guys, because Austin, Texas has really become a tech hub. Anybody that knows a lot about tech and kind of what companies are expanding around the, you know, the globe and especially America, Austin, Texas is one of those places, guys. The semiconductor industry really started to take off over the past decade in Austin, Texas, okay? And then that has started bringing in more and more other companies like Apple, okay? Apple now has a lot of things they're doing in Austin, Texas. They have a lot of employees out in Austin, Texas now. Apple actually does, which not a lot of people even know. So Austin, Texas is kind of just this tech hub that has a lot of tech talent in it, right? Relatively low real, real estate prices. I mean, it has gotten more expensive over the last five to 10 years out in Austin, Texas than it used to be, but it's still relatively cheap when you compare it to somewhere like a New York City, right? Or somewhere like that. It's not even comparable what Austin, Texas prices are, especially if you've got to go a little more on the outskirts of Austin, Texas, compared to somewhere like New York City or something. Like it's not even it's not even on the same uh, playing field, right? Same thing without Miami. Miami is so expensive. It's unbelievable, guys. So Austin, Texas is a great hub for tech talent there, and it sounds like it is the front runner as of right now. And so don't be surprised if when they do come out about the headquarters, it is in an Austin, Texas, guys. Um, you know, so that's what I'm hearing as of now. And it makes perfect sense to me, in my personal opinion. It just makes sense to have it there with all that talent around there, all those universities and whatnot. Why not have it out there? So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this. In that comment section, I wanna know what you guys think about Amazon Prime memberships going up. Do you have an Amazon Prime membership? If you do, is the $2 a month going up gonna affect you as far as like you're gonna drop Amazon Prime or something like that? Or do you really 
not care? Do you think Amazon, this is gonna be a year when all their prices start getting more expensive and all of a sudden you go to make a purchase and you're like, man, I swear that's like $2 more expensive than it used to be, things like that. What do you guys think about this? Love to hear your comments. Also, do you think uh, my information's wrong about Austin, Texas there? Do you think there's another uh, uh, city around the United States that's actually gonna get the headquarters? I would love to hear from you guys. So anyways, thank you for watching. Regular Guy Tech as always, and have a great day.